Welcome. And in this video, we're going to talk about distances. Distances on our number line. Uh, in the last video, we talked about integers, integers being either positive or negative numbers. We talked about um, absolute value, absolute value being the distance from zero in either direction. And we also talked about the opposites. Opposite of a number is the same distance from zero, but of course, in the opposite direction. Um, but what if I have, I don't know, let's say a number, a point at negative three, and it's gone all the way up to four. Well, what is the distance between those two numbers? Easy way to do that is simply just count. I can start at negative three, and I want to go all the way to four. So I just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the distance between those two is seven. Uh, a shortcut what I could do is I could find the absolute value of these two numbers. Well, what's, what's negative three? The distance from negative three to zero is three. The distance from zero to four is four. So what's the total distance altogether? The total distance is seven, just like how we counted up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? Um, this works all the time if my number, one of my numbers is negative and the other number is positive. Well, what happens if, let's say I start at one and I want to go all the way to six? Well, what's the distance between those two? Well, that's, that's easy, right? I could just count. I start at one, I go up to three, four, five, six. So how many jumps was that? That was one, two, three, four, five. It had a total distance of five. So the difference between one and six is of course five. Uh, let's do one more example. What is the difference um, between, let's, let's use a triangle for this one, five and, or sorry, negative five and let's say three. Hmm. Well, what's the distance from negative five and zero? The absolute value, the distance from those ones, from negative five all the way to zero is of course five. And how about what's the distance, the absolute value from zero all the way to three? That is of course three. And so if one has a distance of five, the other has a distance of three, what is the total distance? Total distance is eight. Oops, is eight. All right. I hope that helps. Catch you in the next one.